Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This video is DCS World Wild Weasel in Harm's Way. Episode 1, the SA2 Guideline. We all know how big a problem surface air missiles can be in DCS World. This video is going to teach you how to hunt them and destroy them like a wild weasel should. Now, you don't need a fancy jet with harms and all that electronic gubbins inside it. What you do need is a few tactics and then a bit of pilot and skill. And also, a little bit of luck goes a long way. So, let's get cracking. The SA-2 guideline in DCS uses the Fansong Search and Engagement Radar, FS or 2, on your radar warning receiver, and it uses the Flat Face Detection Radar. So it's going to detect you about 80 miles, it's going to be able to start tracking you for its weapon systems at about 50, but it's only going to fire on you when you come into about 20 miles, and it's got a minimum range of about 3. So if you get close enough, it's not going to be able to kill you. So um, oh, sorry, the altitude as well. It goes up to about 98,000. Ask Gary Powers, it goes quite high. So we're in the cockpit now, and we can see there on our radar warning receiver that we have a radar that is in search mode. Now at the moment, I don't know what type of radar that is. I do because I built the mission. However, for the purpose of this, I'll pretend like I don't know. So something over there is now locking me up. So there is a surface area missile somewhere over there in the desert. So I'm going to turn towards it because I want to be able to see when it launches on me. And when it does launch on me, that's when I'm going to start weaseling away and get my manoeuvres ready. So I've armed my rockets because that's what I'm going to blow it up with. In fact, I think I can just see it in front of me to the right there, off in the distance. So we have a SAM site. I don't know what type it is. I've just got, at the moment, a search radar indication. So I'm going to launch chaff and flares if and when this thing launches on me. So I'm just getting my nose onto the target, turning in towards it. Now that's the missile launch, I roll out and see where it is. So it's launched, I'm immediately going to bank to the right, I'm kicking out some chaff and flare, and I'm putting that missile off to my 10 o'clock, that's another launch. So the missile's at 10 o'clock, I've chaffed and flared, I'm going to manoeuvre back towards it, pulling hard. It's going to manoeuvre, pull hard away, chaff and flares again. At this point, the missile is still tracking. I can see it, that's a miss from the missile, so I turn back towards it. So those two that it's launched have missed. So I'm now going to turn and put the launch site off to my 2 o'clock. I'm going to be searching out that window looking for launches. It's still tracking me. There's another launch coming up now, so break towards it. Pump out the chaff, pump out the flares, pull hard. That's going to bleed the energy. The missile, looking back over, more chaff and flares out. Hard bank at the last second and it's missed. So I've now got close enough that it's missed me and I'm getting inside its minimum range. So if it doesn't launch me in the next second, I'm fine. Of course, you've got to worry about AAA and man pads, but there's nothing there. So I'm lining up. I do a little test range with the guns. I'm lining up my rockets and then I'm just going to take out that search radar and aim for the uh, flat face as well, or the flat face is the search radar, and see if they've got the fan song. So we're banking up and over i got something, I've still got a search radar there, so I either got the fan song or I got the flat face, I'm not sure which. Looking in, I can see the flat face is still up, so that's the search radar, so the engagement radar is down, but I'm going to kick back in, there's still a couple of uh, missiles on the launcher rails down there, but I'm going to focus on the actual uh, radars themselves, I'm going to pull up before I smash into the desert and become one of the tortoises. Just avoided that. That was the SAM engagement in an F5E Tiger II. No harms, just luck and a bit of good f flying. <laughs> good fortune. You could, of course, stand off and use harms and destroy it from a distance. However, if you can't, for whatever reason, then you can use these uh, tactics. So find the SAM, see the launch, turn towards it. Place it at your 10 or 2 o'clock, pull hard, drop in chaff, pull back in towards, drop chaff, and then at the last moment as the missile gets close to you, do a hard turn towards it. It's not going to have the manoeuvrability to get a hit on you. It'll get very close, it's brown trouser time, but it's not going to hit you. So, that's how to kill an SA2. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out!